Hey, I'm Sam. I'm Gerard. Obviously, I'm not Bob. He got a Viagra last night stuck in his throat. He's got a stiff neck, so I got to fill in for him today. So, hope you have some fun. Said he had a headache. Okay, we know the truth, bro. It's, yeah. you know, a headache. But, but he anyway. Got stuck in his throat. Well, you know what's really bad, dude? He's like, uh, he draw. This is what this is what Michelle was telling me that Bob draws funny faces on it, and he end up getting ink, end up getting ink poisoning. <laughs> so the doctors mistake them for Bozo the clown, as I was yeah. saying. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Peepers, here we go. Yeah, really. Homie the clown. <laughs> Back to age badly. We have this stuff called insane pump, and I'll, usually I don't take uh, stuff before I work out. Except maybe uh, a suit of or something yeah. like that. But this stuff, honest and truly, it works. And you do get a good pump. And uh, I mean, as soon as you take it, I mean, it, it kicks right in. It's good. Newest it's stuff really good. on the market, and it's phenomenal. Everybody's bragging about it. it tastes yeah. like crap, but it works. And it's not ours, it's a friend of ours. But, um, and um, if it didn't work, I wouldn't say it. I wouldn't be saying this. I'd be like, dude stuff don't work but it does work so try it you'll like it go online to uh, www.insanesupplements.com and you'll get insane pump and you'll get an insane pump and you'll be happy and then actually it works good with your other supplements if you know what I'm talking about so, you know those you ones that only doctors really know what you're taking yeah that yeah. stuff yeah okay. it really does work good the other thing is uh, the hurricane which is gonna be at countryside the Hurricane Bay is the countryside this year? Yeah. Uh, Hurricane Bay bodybuilding, baby. Yeah. Tampa's finest. Oh, it's going to be in Tampa? I thought it was, was going to be countryside. Well, anyway. Hell, it's somewhere between countryside and Tampa, so don't miss it, because there'll be, there'll be places everywhere you can yeah. find it. Look it up. Hurricane Bay. Yeah, October 1st and 2nd. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's going to be a good show. Uh, I think it's a level three. Yep. Level three, so uh, you, you're not going to qualify for the nationals, but at least you can uh, show show off what you got. Hey, come on and out and look at the Masters Figure Competition. You'll see that aging badly is definitely a concept, yeah. brother. There you go, man. But we're going to be there. Gerard's going to be there too. I'll be here. Yeah. And uh, if Bob gets out of the hospital, hopefully he'll be there. Uh, he may have to wear baggy pants and a long shirt, but life will be good. And, Colostomies uh, aren't that bad. Trust me, he'll he'll be fine. Well, you know, it's a good thing that he went and got that stuff, his colonoscopy done. Because, you know, he did just turn 55. Well, they... Or, excuse me. Yeah, he did turn 55. The funny thing is, is they said they didn't find anything, and then all of a sudden they looked and they found his head, and that's where it was, so, yeah. you know. And then a drawing. Go figure. I don't that's know. A, there you go, the ink poisoning. So what exercise but, are you going to do today? We're going to do hack squats today. Uh, the thing is, with hack squats, um, I usually do them every other leg workout. Um, the days that I, when I go heavy on squats, I usually do hack squats and I do reps. Um, now the thing of it is, when you're doing hack squats, because you're locked in, it's a controlled movement, and you can go down a little bit deeper. Watch your knees. Uh, some people that you know they need to wrap when they when they do hack squats, and if you can't go all the way down and it hurts too bad, don't do it. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Don't do it. Just make sure your knees don't go over your toes and you'll be good to go. Yep. And uh, it gives you a nice looking quads and it also tightens up all the tendons and ligaments, not just in your leg, but in your whole body. So it's a good exercise to do for everything. And uh, it does put a lot of stress on you. And a lot of people don't like doing them because they don't like working out, I guess. Well, doesn't it take some of the stress off your lower back from like doing regular squats? Yeah. Well, that's all I'm saying because it's a controlled movement because you're locked in. Right. And that way you don't have to worry about jerking around and messing your back up and all that stuff like that. But it's still very stressful. And because it is a controlled movement, it really concentrates hard on your quads and stuff. If you're a bodybuilder, I would say do those. If you're a power lifter, you know, it, it'll help you out. But, you know, not as far as technique. What about for all the women out there? Should they do it anyway? Yeah. Okay. If I was, you know, if I was a chick, you so know, so for I'd, anybody, they can do it. Yeah. Well, it tightens up all the good spots. So, <laughs> and you know, that's what you want. And, of and course guys, that's you know want. what those good spots are on the woman, right? Okay. And I like to watch them make faces when they do it. It's yeah, it's kind of like the remember back. Remember back in the day, the 20-minute workout. Yeah. You know, guys used to just watch it just to watch the women's faces. 
Well, training yeah. should be fun. It shouldn't be a job. You shouldn't be doing it because you feel you have to. Yeah. You know, and I if mean, you're orgasmic. I mean, golly. You know, hey, if you got a, a bum butt, ladies, go ahead and do what some of our members do. Dance <laughs> around while you're in between sets. We don't mind. As you can see, this is my carrying hack squat machine. And what I'm going to show you is hack squat. Now, this is controlled movement, so it doesn't put as much stress on your body as what a regular squat would do. It's not as dangerous, but it is hard on your knees. So what you want to do is you want to get a comfortable position in here. Me, I like my legs close together because I'm trying to work that teardrop in my legs. So that's what I do. And you know, it has the safety features here, as you can see. See, I'm locked in. Now I'm unlocked. And what you want to do, grab the handles up here. And you want to go do what touches is the best for me. If you want to get the full benefit of the exercise, you want to go all the way down. But let's say you can't, your knees hurt and you're hurt. At least go parallel, like that. But you're better off going deep. And when you're done, get yourself locked back in. Presto changeo, hack squat. That's what you do. It really works your quads pretty good, as you can see. Beautiful legs. When you do hack squats, it's probably a good idea to wrap your knees. And I know a lot of people don't know how to do this properly. So the next episode, episode or whatever that we do at H Valley, I'm going to show you how to wrap your knees properly. That way uh, you won't hurt yourself, hurt your knees when you're here doing this crap. And if you don't wrap your knees properly, it could cause you more harm than good. So I'm going to show you how to do this the way that a power lifter would wrap his knees, and that's what you want to do. And uh, that's all I got to say about that. That's it. Damn, Gerard, my legs are killing me. I'm glad I was watching you and that. spotting you do it, because you know what, brother? That you know, I can understand where you got the overall from that thigh, thigh from the hack squats. So it's helping, me. especially that nerve damage. I can really feel it deep in my thigh. It's, um, well, you know, ever since I had that injury, since that guy ran over me, yeah. and I started doing these. Gee, man, man. I wish I would have started doing them a long time ago. Well, it would have that. been harder if you, you know, you yeah. can't do it in a cast, so you might as well do it now, right? Yeah. But it's helping me out. It hurts though. It helps with the sweeping stuff in your quads too when you're yeah. trying to look for that, that teardrop yeah. look. So, well, it also it, helps me out with my martial arts. Okay. I, mean, I didn't have much power in my front kick. Now, man, I, I'm tearing it up. See, we just call him Master Sam. It's all good. And trained by anyway. Bruce Leroy. Yeah, Bruce, Bruce Leroy. <laughs> He's my hero. <laughs> but anyway, hey, I hope you guys. Uh, Come and see us after Hurricane. Like I said, I'll be there. Bob will be there. Gerard will be there. And, you know, everybody's going to be there, man. So that means you, well, you got to come too. Come yeah. Check us out. Come on out. Say hi. Also, before we go, we're uh, redoing our uh, the shirt concept. We're going to have new models, new shirts, and this and that. And the winners of the shirts are Hard Ass, Iron Goddess, and Beat But Not Broken. Those are going to be the new shirts. So make sure you come, you check out the new line and uh, the new models. Add and, to the collection. Yeah. And, hey, my wife's going to be a model too, which she's on there already, but she's going to be on there. So, you know, I'll, I'll do some peace signs behind her head so you'll know it's her. Absolutely. Then come I'll out and see out. us, guys. Thanks for letting me fill in. We hope you enjoyed it. Hey, thanks, Gerard. Sammy, we appreciate oh, it. The other thing I was going to tell you, Gerard here, he knows this stuff. When I have a problem, he's one of the guys uh, whose brains I pick. So he kind of helps me out a lot. Knows a lot about diet, nutrition, and training. And I uh, like to eat though. But uh, you know, Gerard will be on here time to time when he says something. Listen, cause he knows what he's talking about. You guys be good. Hey, nobody else listens. See you guys. Thanks, George. Believe it or not, it had nothing but he to thought do he had elephantitis. <laughs> but it was just the head. Well, and the feet, but and they, they couldn't say anything about the trunk. And Bob said he got a hold of some bad mushrooms. <clears throat> How does yeah. he keep getting a hold of bad mushrooms? 
Okay, good morning. Have to introduce yourself. Oh, hey, I'm Sam. Hey, it's me, Sam, again. I don't know what happened to Gerard. He don't like doing this stuff, so I'm going to show you. Just like um, actually, they'd have to... <laughs> that shit. <laughs> My hands are on the table, I swear to God. That had nothing to do with me.